Good morning, friends and family and family and friends. Happy Monday the 25th and happy Memorial Day, everyone. We hope you had an awesome weekend and that you make the most of this beautiful day today. A huge thank you to all of our veterans and veteran families out there. Over a million lives have been cut short to give us the beautiful country we live in. So once again, thank you servicemen and women. You may be gone, but you most certainly will never be forgotten. All right, sunrise will be at 523 this morning and sunset will be at 821, giving us 14 hours and 58 minutes of daylight today. Tomorrow we hit 15 hours. Presently it's 66 degrees outside, give or take a little bit depending on exactly where you live. Today you should expect partly sunny skies with scattered thunderstorms early. High temps will reach the mid 80s and the winds will be out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So it'll probably be pretty nice in the afternoon. From our family of friends celebrating birthdays today, or celebrating birthdays on Saturday the 23rd actually, happy birthday Corey Walker. Jake Gilly, Dennis, Monday, Denise Phillips, Nick Cooper, Jesse Jody, Kayla Kohler, David Robbins, and our awesome friend Mike Duclos. For our family of friends who celebrated birthdays yesterday on the 24th, happy birthday Richard Jeske, Jim Sell, Michael Oakley, Dan Geyer, Patrick Nampel, Cameron Kahn, Patrick Cooney, Banjo Johnson, Joanne Agnes, Steve Glassenberg, and of course our friend Donna Tucker Bone. And today's birthdays include Tyler DeBates, Brian J. Heffenstein, Stacey Renz, John Reynolds, Tom Ress, Teresa Beach, Andrea Maurer, Brielle Johnson, Stan, Chantel Boss, Angie Sneesberg, Kevin Hutchinson, Joe Lee, and last but not least, Lisa May Probst. Woo, made it. Our celebrity birthday shout out starts with a young TV actress who is a rising star of the Nickelodeon series, Bella and the Bulldogs, in the title role of Bella who also appeared in a reoccurring role on the hit series Haunted Hathaways. In 2015, she played Vi in the Nickelodeon TV movie Liar Liar Vampire, and later she appeared in Nickelodeon's Ho Ho Holiday Special. Breck Basinger turns 21 today. Our next celebrity is an extremely talented man who has secured his legacy as a household name as a comedian, actor, singer, and screenwriter. He won four American Comedy Awards for his work as Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, and Gold Member. He provided the voice for everyone's favorite friend, Shrek, as well starring in the movie Wayne's World. Mike Myers turns 57 today. And our honored final shout out is for a longtime actor who became immortalized as Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings franchise. Awesome awesomeness there. He played the mega powerful mutant Magneto in the X-Men movies, additionally awesome and narrated the 2007 fantasy film Stardust. He was cast as Cogsworth in 2017 film Beauty and the Beast. Ian McKellen turns 81 today. Just an awesome actor. All right, on, on today's date in 1977, a universe is born and an adventure begins when the first of the Star Wars series premieres. It surpassed Jaws to become the highest grossing film of all time, a record it held until E.T. the Extraterrestrial came out in 1982. The series is one of the highest grossing film franchise of all time still to this day. Um, this episode would later be retitled Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Here's another one of those awesome cool achievements on, the, on today's date in 1994. Astronomers announced that the Hubble Space Telescope has for the first time confirmed the existence of a black hole. It was found in the constellation Virgo. This slide right here is a picture of the constellation Virgo as it would be seen in our nighttime sky. It's definably, it's definable, it's very bright, it's large in the sky, pretty easy to spot. Now uh, this next slide here actually shows where the black hole is located in relation to the constellation Virgo. You obviously can't see the black hole when you look up, but it's pretty cool thinking you're looking right into one or looking in the exact direction. Uh, just awesome. All right, on to our comedy corner. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. <laughs> Today is National Tap Dance Day, National Brown Baguette Day, National Wine Day, National Missing Children Day, it's Towel Day, and of course, today is Memorial Day. Well, friends and family, it's no secret, Belle and I love our veterans, so in honor of them and for the love of our awesome country, let's discuss the origins of Memorial Day. Each year in the United States, Americans observe the federal holiday of Memorial Day. It's the last Monday in, the month, uh, in May. It honors and remembers all men and women who have died while serving in the United States Armed Forces. 
Additionally, many people recognize Memorial Day as a day to remember all loved ones who have passed away. Um, traditionally on Memorial Day, the flag of the United States of America is raised briskly to the top of the staff, then solemnly lowered to half-staff position, where it remains until noon. At noon, it is then raised to full staff for the remainder of the day. And the symbolism behind that, well, when the, the flag is at half-staff, the position is in remembrance of more than one million men and women who gave their lives for this awesome country we live in. Raising the flag at noon signifies our nation's resolve, not to let their sacrifice be in vain, but to rise up in their honor and continue to fight for liberty and justice for all. How awesome is that? Honoring the men and women who have died while serving in the military goes back to almost the founding of this country. Communities, individuals, and organizations have kept Memorial Day in various forms in the United States since the end of the Civil War. General John Logan first called for a National Day of Remembrance on May 5th in 1868. The observance was called Decoration Day, and it was observed on May 30th every year, on, um, starting in 1868. Decoration Day gradually became known as Memorial Day, and now it honors all U.S. service members who have died during military conflict. Memorial Day has continued to be observed on May 30th for many years, but then in 1968, Congress passed the Uniform Monday Holiday Act. So since 1971, Memorial Day has been observed the last Monday of each May. Well, have an awesome day and consider making a contribution to our Wounded Warrior funder, Fundraiser if you're able to. Uh, it's a great cause. Um, we will provide a link at the end of the video. Uh, they certainly appreciate it. Um, Blend and I appreciate the time that you spend with us each and every day. Oh, I thought we were out of time. Um, our goal is to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each of our Morning Minute posts. After all, knowledge is power, and you know, we love to share what we come across, and we're here for you. We hope you are enjoying the experience, so we, you know, please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family. That one's so, so important. Um, thanks again for your time. Make it an awesome day, and you have...